Hi guys, Joe again. Let's look at the inside of the thermostatic coil when we apply voltage. Here we go, and power on. Start. If you look real close, you can see I've got some uh, magic marker markings to the left and right of where that thing is to start. Now this particular coil is different than the one we tested on the carburetor. It's got quite a number of uh, more turns to it, quite a bit longer. So I'm thinking there's a calibration difference between these. Nothing I've ever seen listed, so you kind of get what you get. At any rate, this thing's taken off pretty quick. Here we are at 30 seconds, and it's already moving. So basically this particular model or calibration would be pulling the choke off quite a bit faster than the other one, the one we saw in the carburetor itself. There's a minute and it's already moved an entire width. The one in the carburetor I had reported but the audio got messed up was pulling about 0.4 amperes at 12.5 uh, volts. This one started off close to an entire amp, and it's really running. There's two minutes and this thing is really going. I, I would say it's a good deal faster than the original one we, we tested, which was almost four minutes really to show a whole lot. Okay, so by three minutes that thing would have pulled the entire choke completely off. Alright, let's turn off the power to it. It's a real springy kind of a deal. And again, the heater... Wow! It is hot. The heater is right here in the center, right behind here. And it's hot to the touch on both sides. The engine, of course, is going to heat it as well, so a warm engine moves the coil. So does the heater. But if the heater doesn't work, that choke's just not going to work. 